Hey guys, it's David again here with another uh, pack opening. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack another collector's pack of um, uh, Forgotten Realms. I'm doing this one because it was kind of like a, it was kind of like a crossover from um, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons of the Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so Dungeons and Dragons was the original game that I think Magic the Gathering was, was based off. Um, it's when uh, groups of groups of players gathered to um, follow the specific storyline to um, to uh, achieve quests and uh, level up their characters. So what they would do is they dress up like their characters, um, and then they would um, and then they would um, continue with their group, and they would, the group would have like a, a leader that walks them through a specific dungeon or quest, and then they make choices and they role play for the. Um, for the remainder of the um, of the quest, so it was just kind of like reinventing the idea of now through um, magic cards. So and now I'm gonna go ahead and crack this um, crack this pack of uh, forgotten realms and see what we have inside. Again, we're looking for the art. The card quality is good, but I don't I don't see me um, playing too many with these ones. Oh wow, straight up. See, this is why I love collectors boosters. It's because you get foils. Instead of regular commons, this is a this is a beautiful foil. I saw this one. I I just looked at it when it opened. And I was like, oh my gosh, can't wait to put this in my binder. See, you get the kind of gold tint off of it. Beautiful, beautiful foil. Wow. Another foil. See, this is why I like collector's boosters over regular boosters, because you get, I think, the guaranteed, um, it's guaranteed more foils than um, any other booster. They're, they're, they're quite a bit more expensive, but they are, um, they're definitely worth it. They get bang for your buck if you're in the foils. And this is predominantly the main, this is the main reason I play this game, for the foils. Because of how they look as opposed to playing them, playing them on the digital landscape where you don't get to see the, the light interaction with the foil cards. Another beautiful one. Oh wow. Look at that one straight off the bat. Beautiful. I'm here at Starbucks and um, I got a shout out to Critical Hit Games and Top Click Games and Starbucks for letting me make my video here. I hear some of the girls and boys in the background here. Oh wow, this is a beautiful foil. See this picture? It looks like dragons going fire fire on the yep, this dragon's fire. This is really nice. Beautiful, beautiful foil. I think this may go in one of my decks. Yeah, this is a beautiful instant. Look at that one. That's the green, dark green and dark black foil. That's beautiful. They still have the gold in the middle. That is beautiful. Hunter's Mark. Rally Maneuver. Very nice. Ooh, this is a really nice foil. I've never seen some. This was nice. Okay, I think I get this one. All right, so I don't know if you can see the picture really well. Let me see it. Get closer to her. She's like fighting a mob, but the whole picture is dark except for her. She's like she stands out from it except from the purple background. Like all the animals are purple. It's just beautiful. I've never seen. Foils with dark colors is, are very hard to pull off unless the artist really knows what they're doing, or the foil or the foil equation is set specifically for the card. This is beautiful. My basic land foil, very nice. Oh wow, mythic right off the bat. Icing death frost, South dragon. This is beautiful. These collector's boots are so worth it. 
Look at that spoiled nipple. Oh, that's tough. This is going right in my gut. Oh, that's beautiful. And then now we have an artifact. a really nice enchantment. Let's you all uh, scry after rolling a d4 and then draw a card if you roll a 4. It's pretty cool. Let's see what this one is. Tasha's hideous lesson. lesson. <coughs> this is really good. Exile to each opponent exiles cards from the top of the lever to the upper as exile card with total mana value 20 or more. Beautiful. These were the old so these are the old Dungeon and Dragons pictures. Like they used to include in their quest. So that was a Pegasus. Dungeon Master card is really just uh, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, very nice. That's on the other side of Goblin Token. Beautiful pack, beautiful, beautiful pack. Definitely value. I think I valued alone on the Icing Death, um, Dragon the Foil Icing Death Dragon. This is a very beautiful pack. All right, thank you, Google. I love you, and um, thanks for always being there for me and helping me out with my life and kind of just guiding me. Um, I want to say that uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll leave um, um, uh, um, um, what's it called? References in the description. And um, also, yep, that's it. Love you and thank you. That's all I've been doing. <laughs>